about to go inside the new England aquarium right now and I am so excited I can't even tell you right outside I saw this uh, huge tank that they built which has some Atlantic harbor seals and they're so 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 cute I am super excited to see what this aquarium holds for me because I've heard that it's really really good so let's go ahead. I am going whale watching today. So excited. You can see this cruise behind me. So that's what is going to be taking us inside the ocean. It's about a four hour long cruise. Uh, we're going to be heading into the ocean and see some whales. heading back from an extremely productive whale watching session. Uh, so we ended up sighting a whale calf and its mother and it was quite a show with a lot of uh, flipping around action and uh, we're headed back now. It's like super windy and super chilly. Um, you can see the entire beautiful skyline of Boston behind me. So I'm finally here at one of Boston's most iconic restaurants and America's oldest restaurant that is Union Oyster House. So this restaurant was actually a part of the Freedom Trail that I did and it's super highly recommended for the lobsters and their clam chowder. So I'm trying out their clam chowder right now. 
This is the oldest uh, continually running restaurant in America, and uh, so it has these cute little booths. And uh, a very interesting part is that the booth number eighteen used to always be booked for the Kennedys. So the Kennedys used to dine here every Sunday, if I'm not wrong, Saturday or Sunday. the museum of science in boston so let's go ahead and check out some super cool exhibits the museum of science is a fun visit for all age groups head to the hall of human life and experience some interactive exhibits to spot the most exotic insects Don't forget to catch a show at the planetarium. Trusting the serving staff to help us out with that. We have uh, ordered something. I don't know how it's going to be. Hoping for the best. Uh, I'm starting off. I'm unwrapping their uh, chopsticks, and this is a whip that they give that we're supposed to wear. Thank you. 
about to go on the super iconic duck tour in Boston right now. So uh, this vehicle that you can see behind me is known as the duck. So this is an amphibious vehicle. Uh, it uh, it runs like a uh, car on the street and then it also turns into a boat once it enters the water. So this is a thing that everybody who visits Boston has to, has to do. So let's go ride the duck. I'm driving the dog. Oh, <laughs> What's up, India? I've come to this cafe called Tradesman, which is located in the financial district of Boston. And I am trying out, I've been wanting to actually try out a spoon forever, okay? I've never tried out a spoon. So this is the first time I'm trying out a spoon. I've ordered uh, for the blueberry and lemon spoon, uh, along with a cup of coffee. So let us try. Wow. Mm. Very nice. Mildly sweet. And perfect with a cup of coffee. Hi guys, so I have just arrived at the iconic Quincy Market in Boston. Uh, you can see the building, uh, the Quincy Market building right behind me. Uh, the building is a, a beautiful um, heritage kind of a structure and inside that uh, you find aisle after aisle of uh, local Boston uh, food shops. Like you have a lot of uh, seafood, uh, Boston is well known for its uh, uh, lobsters and clam chowder. So you get a lot of shops, uh, you know, selling that and then you also have have a lot of uh, stores selling uh, uh, Boston specialty goodies and all of that. So it's a fun place. You have a lot of local performers, like artists coming here and uh, performing. There's beautiful seating outdoors where you can enjoy some food and beverages. So it's a wonderful place to visit. Guys, right now I'm at this beautiful street called Newbury Street in Boston. So it's a very, very pretty looking street which is lined on both sides by... Uh, there's a mix of fancy boutiques and brands and then you also have a lot of restaurants. I've literally seen everything right from ice cream parlors and French food to uh, ramen and vegan cafes. So it's a great place to like try out different varieties of food and shop at the same time. Okay, I am trying out this insane looking cookie sandwich, cookie and ice cream sandwich from this place from, called Insomnia Cookies. Uh, they are well known to be open till super late at night and of course for their cookies. Uh, I have ordered an oatmeal raisin cookie, a sugar cookie and 
uh, what I think is the cookies and cream ice cream or cookie dough ice cream. I just told her to you know uh, sandwich it with whatever she thought would go best. Let's take the first bite. So that was the last episode from my Boston series. Stay tuned for more such wonderful travel content and before you go please please hit the subscribe button. Mm-hmm.